Are you an engineer that understands the value of testing your code, but you don't want to spend the extra one, two, three, four, five hours it takes to write, debug, and validate your tests? Well, I think testing is solved. And I know that's a really bold statement, but with this tool, you can do 5% of the work and get 80% of your tests written. In this video, I wanna show you a brand new way to write your tests. Using GPT-powered AI coding assistant, Aether, we're gonna hand off the process of writing our tests to an AI coding assistant. If you haven't heard of Aether, definitely check out my previous AI coding videos where I walk through installing Aether from scratch and use it to generate front-end components. I'll link that in the description. I'm a small niche engineering channel and those videos completely blew up. Huge shout out to everyone who liked, subbed, and got value out of those videos. Enough hype talk, let me show you this is real. So here's a simple Python application that reads and writes to a Notion page and Notion database. There are three Python files we're going to be operating on, main, Notion, and Notion test. In main, we've set up some Notion tokens, pages, and database IDs. We've imported some functions. All we're doing here is writing text to a Notion page. Reading text will read from the database on the Notion page, and then we'll convert that database's rows into simple JSON format. Here's the Notion page, and here's the Notion database. If we go ahead, open up our terminal, start our environment, and run Python on main, we hop back over, we now have a hello world block in our Notion page. If we hop over to our notion.py file, these are the supporting functions that we use in main.py. The details of the functions, we don't need to go into too much. You can see here we have write text, where we write text to a Notion page. We have write dict to file. We have read text. We have this safe nested property getter. This basically just allows us to fetch nested content out of JSON. And then we have a medium size function where we read the rows from Notion and then we pull out the properties one by one using the safe git method here. So you have your code, you're ready to go, and then you realize there are no tests for this module. This file has no tests. Now I have to write another test suite by hand. Oh, <sighs> well not anymore. Let's crack open the terminal, export your OpenAI API key, and then type Aether using the GPT-4 model. All right, let's add our Notion and Notion test file. And now let's have a natural language to tell Aether exactly how to test our Notion Python file. Using PyTest, write tests, test.py, the cover function in mock the Notion client variable. Use the patch function to patch methods on the Notion client. And let's go ahead and run. So as you can see here, Aether tells you exactly what it needs to do. It is actively writing those tests. It's writing the patch, just like I said. It's using the mock version of the Notion client, just like I mentioned. And there it is, it's testing the safe get method. Amazing. Okay. First things first, before we even look at the tests, let's just run PyTest and see how Aider has done. Okay, so we have about four failed tests and one passed. Normally we would you know, start digging in, figure out what's going on with our tests, but I'm not gonna do any of that. What I'm gonna do is hop back over to Aether, I'm gonna type slash run, and then I'm gonna type pytest. And what this command will do is run pytest and feed the output of pytest back into Aether. All right, so that's gonna append the output directly to Aether. Let's go ahead and let that run. Let's see how it does. Let's run PyTest again. Okay, still four errors. Let's just go ahead and repeat. Let's see if Aether can handle these errors. All right, let's run again. Okay, awesome. So this time we got one failed, four passed. So it seems like with the output of the error messages from PyTest, Aether is able to self-correct itself, and now we just have one error left. It looks like we're trying to mock Python's built-in open method for file writing. So what I'm gonna do here is just let Aether fully write and read from a file 
to confirm this test. So let's go ahead and write that. Update the dict to file. Write and read from disk. Don't mock anything. Okay, looks like we've got a, an error here. Um, this is definitely something I wanted to happen, so we could walk through this. I got a token usage error. All the GPT models have windows, right? It can't hold that much information. So if we go ahead and type slash tokens, we went over this in previous ADR videos. As you can see here, our total tokens are over the max window, so we need to go ahead and clear our chat history. I'm gonna type slash clear, slash tokens. And you can see we dropped back to 2,000 tokens, so we have 5,000 remaining. Now that that's reset and we have some additional context window for memory, let's go ahead and type up a couple times and rerun that modification to our test. Here's the original where we're trying to mock the built-in open function. And here's a new version where we just go ahead, write, read, and call it a day. Awesome, so looks like it needs a JSON import. I'm gonna go ahead and just add this, no big deal. Let's go ahead and run our tests. Now we have a fully passing test suite that tests all the functionality in our module. So, you know, a couple things to note here, five functions, it's about hundred lines long. It's not super complex. We did run into a couple issues and we needed to work with Ader to get those issues solved. But in reality, solving the issue was as simple as running run PyTest and basically just feeding the output from PyTest back into Ader so that it could self-correct. So this is pretty incredible, right? We have five tests written and all we did was import JSON. You can start to see how useful this can be when it comes to uh, setting up, just getting some tests out, getting some scaffolding done, all by typing in natural language. So these tests would be acceptable in some engineering orgs, or if you're a solopreneur dev running your own biz, you've just generated probably 60 or 70% of the value a test can offer just by having some type of test in place. But let's push Ader to do more for us here. Let's see if we can add test parameterization to better cover test cases. Let's go ahead and open up Ader and let's type where it makes sense, add test parameterization existing tests, increase test coverage. All right, so let's see how it does. Right now it's describing the change it's gonna make. It's gonna, again, give us the original and then it's going to give us, hopefully, all of our tests working with test parameterization. And just to quickly say, test parameterization is a kind of pseudo automated way to pass in multiple variables into your tests as lists so that it can run different versions of your tests. Let me know if you're interested in a video on PyTesting. I can definitely dive more into that. Okay, so it looks like that finished. Let's take a look at what that looks like. If we collapse everything, when it made sense, Ader added parameterization to some of our tests. So in our write test function, now this test will run twice and pass in the text and type in two iterations of the test. We also have a update a test for our dot chain git function. So you can see here it mocked out three versions of a JSON object, and then it tried to fetch different content within the JSON object using the dot pattern. And here it's looking for specific values. So let's go ahead, run PyTest and see what we get. Awesome, we set up tests from nothing. We had a couple errors, we fed them back into Ader, it fixed them and then we made a tweak to one test that was failing in a particularly unique way using the built-in open function. And then we added parameterization with zero errors. Now there's one more test that I wanna give a little more attention. You can see our read table into rows function is only asserting that it was called with a specific set of variables. This doesn't actually test the underlying functionality at all. So let's go ahead and look at this function and dig into how we could ask Ader to better test this method. So what I'm gonna do here is type exactly how I wanted to rewrite that test. Update to have client.databases.query return an object structure that can be used for the safe git methods to fully test the function. We want Ader to mock out this function call with some solid results where we can actually test our safe get function and have an array of these JSON objects returned. Let's see how it does. We're really putting Ader to the test now. I 
Here's the updated version where it's mocking out the full results. This is incredible. There's a new expected result. Okay, so that's completed. Let's check out that test. So as you can see, we have that mock return value, and now we're setting up client databases query return value to give us back our mocked value so we can have a better representation of what this test actually covers. If we run PyTest, awesome. Ader does it again. This is fantastic technology. I estimate this cut the time it took to test in half. That's roughly a 50% gain in productivity. Now it's not all roses here. It doesn't nail the test perfectly, but gets pretty close and solves the, you know, kind of a cold start problem of having to set up and get the first iteration down. The second possible issue is that you're going to have to pay more attention to your token usage as it can run a bill if you add too many files and if each file is above you know, 300 lines or more. I would quickly counter the whole token usage pricing deal by just asking a simple question like, how much is your time worth? For me, especially when it comes to writing tests, I'd rather pay a little bit to accelerate the testing process so I can focus on core parts of the test and focus more on writing my code. I recommend you try this on a smaller project you're working on or a bigger project, but only add a couple files. If you're interested in learning the Notion API, I created a series of tutorials on that where we cover authentication, writing, reading, and then database writing and reading as well. Definitely give Ada a shot. See if it's another tool you can add to your toolbox. I also just want to quickly note that I use PyTest in this video. You can use Jest, you can use ViTest. Wherever you are on the stack, Ada is powered by GPT-3, 4, and whatever's coming next. So it's fully aware of whatever was built up to September 2021st. We blasted past 500 subs and we're well on our way to hitting our goal of 1K subs by the end of the month. Huge thanks. I really appreciate all the support. I've been grinding, sharing my unique take on AI, AI-powered tools. All I want to do here is help you become a better engineer by utilizing the best, latest, and greatest tools available. Huge thanks for watching. Sub, like, and I'll see you in the next video.